Hello. Hello. Bonjour. Hello. I have a reservation on yes. the mining. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just two of you today? Yeah, only two because my wife is sleeping with my kids. Ah, okay. Because yeah. of the heat. Yes. <laughs> because after meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to have a seat just here, uh, yeah. it'll take me two minutes to open the wines. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You have verse ready? No, okay. Yeah. There's no more, no more fruits. Sorry? No more fruits? Nope. Yeah. The grapes are all in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, are you familiar with Chateau Cunet? Um, I know the Petrus. I, yeah. I, I already drank this net before in my country in Indonesia. Yeah. It was nice and I wanna just just wanna visit your <laughs> your shadow and okay. know more further. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. More okay. details and so welcome. You, yeah, thank you. So this is okay. Yeah. Same this is hobby. Yeah, yeah, the same hobby we wine. Used, <laughs> we used to drink wine every day at okay. home. Yeah. Are you okay here? Is it not too hot? It's hot actually. Yeah, it's shall hot. we go and stand yeah. in the shade maybe? So it's hot, yeah. We'll go and uh, our vines. These are not our vines anyway, so no okay. point looking at those. <laughs> Who's vine? Bukan. Ini bukan yang depan. Is, um, oh. Those are Gombod Guyo. Oh yeah. That's a good place to eat. Yeah. That's yeah. Uncle Tourmaline. Yeah. Which belongs to Mr. Kwok. Uh -huh. Oh, this oh, is your clean up. No, that, because that's... That is Oncle Tomalin. It's hmm? a little plot that belongs to Oncle Tomalin. Oh, yeah. But it's on the Tomalin. historical land of Cline. Oh, okay. So, historical land of Cline. Oh. So they called their plot Cline, but it's not Chateau Cline. Okay. Yeah. And this is Ligli's Cline. Yeah. Uh, which is another estate which is historically on the land of Cline, but hmm. it's not Chateau Cline. Okay. But I'll explain all that to you. Sure. Maybe we can stand just here in the shade and then... Yeah. Okay. It's cooler. It's cooler here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do you know about Pomerol? Mm, the Petrus and that's it. Just Petrus. Petrus. Which grape variety comes to mind when you think of it? Merlot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Merlot and Cabernet Franc. And yeah, yeah, very good. So that and is the typical yeah. blend of Pomerol. Oh yeah. But at Cline, we're we're a little bit different. Yeah. So we have a majority of Merlot, yeah. like the rest of Pomerol. Uh -huh. But in the blend, we use Cabernet Sauvignon. Who? So, yeah. The rest and Cabernet Sauvignon. So yeah. Merlot and Cab Yeah. So under vine, oh. we have eighty-five percent Merlot. Eighty-five. And fifteen percent Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh. Yep. Cabernet under Sauvignon sama Merlot. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh. So no Cabernet Franc. Oh, uh, your 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 location is next to Petrus, right? Uh, Petrus is uh, over that way. Oh, but over. You know, Pomerol is okay. um, Pomerol is a very small appellation. It's mm. just eight hundred yeah. hectares. So everybody, Kill. everybody is close to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. 
And why why is the Petrus very expensive comparing um, with other Palmero? Same area, same location. Because yeah. the same. good marketing. Good marketing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you you do better. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, um, Petrus is mm. um, Petrus is a is a is a fabulous wine, of course. Yeah. Um, and it is centered. On yeah. what we call the blue clay. The blue clay of no. Pomerol. Blue clay of mm. Pomerol. Why are yeah. you using mm. blue clay yeah. also? Well, it's called blue clay because it has a slightly blue color. That is true. Um, the, the, the soil. Yeah, the soil, oh, yeah? the clay. Mm. It's a clay that expands mm. when it rains. Mm. So any clay will collect water when it rains and hold it. Oh. Uh, in its layers mm. so that it is available for the vines when it's hot and dry. Mm. So clay is fantastic, mm. whatever the clay. Mm. But the blue clay is an expanding clay. Mm. So when it rains, it collects the water, but it also presses down mm. on the roots of the vine so that they can't drink mm. when there's a lot of water available. And then as the clay dries out, it uh, releases the water so that the vines can drink. So it's even better. Okay. okay. Uh, and also the clay of um, of Pomerol has what we call iron dirt, um, crasse de fer. So the name isn't very magical, but the effect on the wine is magical. It's what gives the very voluptuous, silky wines of Pomerol. Okay. And Petrus is, yeah, it's, it's often 100% Merlot and it's absolutely fabulous. So that... Oh, 100%. It's often 100% more royal. Mm. So that plus, uh, it was uh, the favorite wine of John, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Mm. It was served at the wedding of Queen Elizabeth II. Mm. So it became also one of the iconic wines of Pomerol, mm. which explains also the price. Mm. The quality yeah. of the price. It's too much. I don't own one, mm -hmm. but I just want to know. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, I just know yeah. why why Petrus is very expensive. Yeah. And there you go. But that is my personal opinion. Yeah. I used to buy Klinet, not Petrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well I've only tasted yeah. it once, so Yeah. <laughs> um so here we're um uh we're in front of one of yes. the plots of Klinet. Yeah. Uh which was planted in nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. So it's actually quite an old um uh, plot. Oh, when and when did you uh, start? Clinet well, start? Clinet, uh. we think, well, it's we found a document uh -huh. that dates back to 1595. 1595. Yeah. And, um, 15, and 15, yeah, 1595. 1595. Uh. Uh, that was for a sale of vine stock for um, the land called Clinet. Mm. So there have been vines on this land mm. at least since 1595 mm. okay um the house that you entered mm. was built in 1820 1820 1820 okay. yeah but the estate existed before that oh yeah. so uh, cleaning has been around for at least 400 years 400 500 years the marato town yeah uh, is it uh, the same with petrus or you are um, more well probably the land of Kine is older all in the terms of vine growing mm. Maybe yeah. 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 Mm. and um, so this is Cabernet Sauvignon uh -huh. uh, old vines of Cabernet Sauvignon and then on the side there we have a plot of Merlot but otherwise our vines are scattered around uh -huh. the Appalachian in different places so Clinet has more tenon Clinet probably mm. has more, a slightly more yeah. tannin, more structure, more structure than, than the average Pomerol okay. because of its high quantity of, uh, yeah. of Cabernet Sauvignon. Cap yeah. Would you like to try some grapes? There's sure. still some little grapes sure, left sure. that we didn't pick. Sure. You can take. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why is the grape on the top? Actually, because to be on the, yeah, on the we bottom. picked everything at the bottom. Oh, anybody? And this is secondary growth that oh, came out later. Second growth. Yeah, so that's why we didn't pick it. Oh. Because it's not ready yet. Mm. 
It will be ready soon. Would you like to try? Nice. Yeah. The the two bit. Yeah. So when you try a, a grape, you have to taste the pulp because mm. mm. that's why you have the sugar mm. and the um, and the acidity. Mm. But you have to ch chew on the skin. Not chew the. Yeah, Hello. because the skin is where you have the best tannin, you have the color and all the aromas, mm. and you have to chew on the seeds as well. You have to make sure that they are crunchy. Yeah, crunchy, yeah. very crunchy. Yeah. So this is probably nearly ripe now, but when we did the harvest, it wasn't ripe, and mm. it's not always the, it's not the same quality. The mm. second secondary mm. growth. The second growth is not the best. No, the best was down here. We never saw it's grown under the top. Yeah, no, no, mm. no. That's because it's secondary growth. So some people. So you don't use it. No, some yeah, people market. cut them off. Yeah. Here we left them because this vine is very vigorous, so that adds ex a little Good bit day. of extra competition yeah. for the vine. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So you can tell that this is Cabernet Sauvignon because of the leaf. Mm. Gabinet Sauvignon, like this leaf. Yeah. Mm. So the leaf looks like uh, Canada. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Canada. But different with the bello. Mellow? How, yeah. How, how is we can the, go. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the mellow. And this part you see overlaps. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Over there. Yeah, but he can see tau down. Sampanya sama. Kita kan tidak tahu. Oh, similar. Yeah, it's similar, but not quite the same. Uh, see, it's bigger. Little bigger day. Yeah, more bigger. It's mm. bigger, and you see how here it is more open. Yeah. Oh, and it's close. Close Oh, yeah. Mm. That is the main difference between Lolo and Kadamsu. <laughs> okay, Kadamsu is smaller. <laughs> Okay. What do you do after you harvest everything? We have a, we make the wine. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you do for the rest for the of vine, the plants? Now we just the vine is going to rest. Oh okay. Um, so we'll wait for the leaves to mm. fall off. Oh okay. And oh. Um, we may plow a little bit the soil, uh -huh. slightly plow, mm. um, and then in the winter we will prune. Mm. So this is now the quiet time. Quiet time. Yeah. The no vine more. Needs to rest now. Yeah. And recover. Yeah. Let them. Let them die. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> no, no, they go to sleep. <laughs> oh. They will be dormant. It's called uh, what is it? Um, hibernating. Hibernation. Hibernating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, they're 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 dormant. We say. Yeah, dormant. Yeah. So yeah. we need rest because particularly in 2023 was a complicated year. Yeah. Yeah, overheat here. Yeah. Uh, it was 40, 40 degrees, right? Yeah, we have 40 degrees and yeah. 20 degrees, so it was very complicated for the mine to find. Yeah. Oh, this is your... This is... Okay. You're cleaning up everything? Just finish the city and bring it up? Um, we're cleaning up for the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. We finished the day's work. Mm -hmm. So um, this is where we make. Is this, um, we just finished uh, all the work for the day. Mm -hmm. So all the vats are full. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, all full. All, all uh, mellow and cup Yeah, so mellow in some, mm -hmm. Kagami Tobino in the others. So um, all the vats are in fermentation now. So fermenting is when the sugar is being turned in 
into alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, so every day what they do for each vat, they pump the juice mm -hmm. from the they pump the juice from the bottom of the vats yep. to the and, top. and spray it over the skin yeah. at the top. Yep. For how many times per day? Pumping over, on average, twice a day. Twice a day. For each vat. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Some the of them using the off. You don't use the off. Why? Uh, we don't use like the off. The off. But the, the big thing is the... Uh, offered by the elk? Wood. The wood? The wood? Uh, we don't use wooden tanks though. Is, that, is that your question? Huh? Yeah, it's all stainless yeah. steel. Stainless. All stainless steel. And then we have one... Clay. Uh, this is Nicola. Yeah. He does Hello. our master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have one, one that which is uh, concrete. Concrete? Yeah. yeah. Inside these is uh, mellow? Yeah, it's mellow, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mellow in here. You yeah. turn around yeah, many so times, right? In, I'm sorry. Instead of doing pumping over, no. we just turn the handle mm. and the whole thing rotates. Okay. And that uh, breaks up the cap mm. uh, and so mixes the skins back in with the, with the juice. Oh. Oh. So it's a very gentle method. So here they're just uh, cleaning up after the day's work. Mm -hmm. Making they've cleaned all the valves. Yeah. They're cleaning all the um, how, how the do, hoses huh. and the pumps. How long how long have, have you uh, put into the tank? The so we started the harvest two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So some of the vats have now finished fermenting. Mm -hmm. Some are in the middle. Some are just starting. The Cabernet came in last week, mm -hmm. so it's more at the beginning of the fermentation process. So how long? In total? Year? In total? In total, it will probably be about four weeks. Four weeks. Four to so. five weeks. It depends on the vat. Why is that in the middle? Is that this? Pressing? That's the press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we will use that at the end when yeah. the fermentation is finished. You put everything, every skin. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So all the wine from the vats will go to the barrels, mm -hmm. and all the skins will be put here to be pressed. Mm -hmm. So we'll have two types of wine: the pre-run wine, mm -hmm. which is all the wine that was in the vat, mm -hmm. and the pressed wine that will come from the press. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the pressed wine is uh, concentrated, uh -huh. and that will be used in the final blend to give an extra. Do you use the press one for every every, every bottle? Yeah. Every so blend, blend, or yeah, is it blend, so blended? At the moment it's plot by plot. Mm. Then we will do the final blend. Blend. And in the final blend we will add some press wine. Mm. Yeah. Nice. So you do the blend in here as well or at the place? Here as well. The blending. Yeah, the blending is done. Yeah. Is this in the juice? Mm. So this is where we make Chateau Clinet yeah. and Fleur de Clinet the second one. Fleur de Clinet, second one. Second one. Yeah, this is the blending. Is it, what, this one is a blender? Or? This one? No, that's one that we use during fermentation. Mm. If we need to empty a vat, mm. for example, if we do a vacuum return, mm. um, during cold maceration, for example, then we have to empty the juice out of the vat, so mm. we'll put it into here and mm. then put it back into the vat. That is just a vat that is used uh, during fermentation. It's not a blending tank. This one. It's the blending tank over yeah, there? Yeah, we use these for blending. This one. Yeah. Mm, okay. Do you do a bottling here as well? Yeah, we bring in a, a mobile block bottling plant. Oh, mobile? Or the big truck. Or the big truck. Yeah. Oh, you think any a big truck? Blending? Yeah, little bottle. bottling? Huh? Bottle. Oh, how many bottles per year? Um, on a normal year, 50,000. 50,000? Yeah. No, 40,000. How big is your land? We have uh, just over 11 hectares. 11 hectares. Yeah. 11 hectares. Which isn't bad for Pomerol because Pomerol, as I said, is a small appellation, but there are quite a lot of estates. Oh. There are about 40. 
Mm. So the average size is about five and a half hectares. Mm. So with 11, we're actually quite big. Mm, okay. <laughs> so compared to probably what you saw in yeah. the Medoc, <laughs> yeah. it's quite small. Yeah. This is a boutique winery. Yeah. So this, this winery here was built by the current owners, Mr. Ronan Laborde. His father bought the estate in 1999. Mm. And Ronan has been running it since 2003, since he was 23. Mm. So, um, a young man still, but with a, an enormous amount of experience. Mm. Nice. <laughs> so he actually built this winery. This was uh, completed in 2004. Mm. 2004. Along with the barrel cellar. Oh, it's just new. It's actually quite, well, it's nearly yeah. 20 years old, but as you see, it still looks very new. Yeah. It looks very modern. The ribbon part. It's quite new. Yeah. Mm. But it's very, it was very ingenious to, um, to build a winery below ground, because yeah. that means that we can fill the barrel, the, um, oh, the vats that's, that's using the... these two things. So we just drop. Oh, the this brick. one into the barrel. Hmm? Into the tanks. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. So you okay. see what he's doing there and we do Yeah. That is carbon dioxide. Oh because the uh carbon dioxide finished from the So that's a sign of the passing. They must be protect their oxygen. So um, at the end of the day when we finish working the vats, we put uh, carbon dioxide in there to protect them from the oxygen. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go to the barrel thing, huh? Yeah. Be careful because it's a bit wet. Thirty. It's chin. What is this? A blending? No, it's just extra bats. Extra tanks. In case we need them. Okay. Oh. This is empty. On this side, yeah. This is the bottle. Oh, yeah. Barrel. Yeah. So this side is ready for the 2023. Mm. So we will receive the new barrel. Oh, all 100% new barrel. Sorry? Do you use 100% new barrel? 80%. Yeah. 100%. Fresh oak? Fresh oak, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Wow. This is 2022. Yeah, that's right. The best vintage, right? The very very good vintage, yeah. but you don't use the what is it the chestnut. the chestnut? Yeah, we do. Well, oh, chestnut. only one. Now it's generally on the very high quality barrels. Mm. Okay. So this is a T five. T is for Tamosu. That's the name of the Cooper. Mm. And five because the oak was left uh, outside mm. for five years be matured mm. okay so on average oak is left 18 24 months outside on a standard barrel shall we say uh, and here five years this is a very high bulk barrel mm. so the sun helps to dry the oak mm. and um, it helps to refine the grain and even develop the, the aromas the mm. aromatic palate mm. so that's a very high quality barrel that's worth about 1,600 euros. Mm. Mm. 1,600, this one? Yeah, it's high quality one. This will be more than this barrel. 1,100 euros. Okay. Oak, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, this one, right? The, yeah. the, the oak is different. Different, yeah. Five years. 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 Okay. So, the transition? Yeah, fresh oak. Five years been... On the sun? Outside, yeah. Outside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because oak has a lot of water. So, soalnya oak, dalamnya ada 
ada airnya, jadi harus dijemur biar kering. Iya. Harus dikeringin dulu di bawah. Yeah. Jadi. So the wine stays here for about 16 months. 16. 16. One six. 16 months di barrel. 12 degree. Uh, about 17, 18 degrees. 17. And 17 17. to 8% humidity. Uh, 17 degrees. Yeah. 17, 18. 17, 18. Hey, 30, 30, 40, sorry. <laughs> so 17 to 18 degrees Celsius. Yeah. 17 to 18. And humidity. Humidity. Is about 80%. 80%. Oh, okay. it's quite humid there. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to keep Three, the wood. Yeah. Oh. Slightly moist, yeah. so that it doesn't dry out. Yeah. Because then the barrels will leak. Yeah. 17 or 18 degrees. 17 18. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. When it's in the barrel, do you use uh, what? What oxygen or uh, carbon carbon dioxide are you using inside? Uh, well, the oxygen the, the air, the in air. the air is naturally natural with microoxygenation. Oxygen. It gets through the the pores of the oak. Mm. Yeah, that's just the pore of oak. So it's natural. What is that? That's the humidity. Oh, humid. oh humidity. <laughs> humidity fire. Yeah. Humidity <laughs> fire. <laughs> yes, because everywhere is different. Like yes. in here, is humid. The others is not humid. Well, probably because what you saw was maybe. Uh, uh, maybe underground yeah, uh, yeah. cellars that are yeah, naturally yeah. humid. Oh, you know? naturally. This is a this is a modern cellar that was built yeah, you know, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. So we have to artificially yeah. maintain the humidity. Maybe that tank, uh, that barrel is more humid than here. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> but it just oh, it's just so long as none of them leak. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you see, we also use the larger barrels. Um, oh, these are 500 liters. Oh, 500 liters. So here the oaking is more supple. Oh, how it differs between small and big? Well, initially we put the uh, younger vines, the, the wines from the younger vines younger one. in younger here. One. Yeah. Because wine from a younger vine is very lively and fruity and fresh. Yeah. So. Here, that might be too much oak, oh. so we prefer to use this, which is more supple, because mm. you have more wine for the surface area of the oak, so the oaking is more supple, with more thinness. Mm. But at this stage of aging, uh, it's all Chateau Clinic. Mm. We have done the final blend, so in each barrel it's the same wine. Do you differ between this one, Melo, or this one? No, well, initially, yeah. it's plot by plot, yeah. so here it's more the young vines, here it would be the older vines, so here it's the older Merlot and the Cabernet, and here it's the young Merlot, for example. Mm. But now, at this stage of aging, it's all the same. Mm. Okay, we've done the final. Why do you differ between chestnut and not chestnut? Because that, as I said, that is a very high quality barrel. Oh, oh inside the is a high quality. So inside it's better quality. Better. Yeah. Better than the If we could, we would have all high quality barrels because <laughs> they're very expensive. Yeah. So you have to soup. Yeah. Oh. Have a mix. Kata ya, yang yang mahal, lagi kayak gini ni lebih mahal, jadi lebih. Just book us up. Yeah. Apa sapu? Chestnut, okay. Yeah, chestnut. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice. 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 Let's 
get into the wine. Yeah, that's hot. This is our last wine in Palmero. This is your last visit? Yeah. Okay. In Palmero. Like, tomorrow is the best wine. I, we, we will visit the higher Hyatt Hout Brion. Hout Brion. Oh, Brion. Ah, nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, this is. Um... So, this is second last. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Obviously, this is a very small estate. Yeah. Brion is much bigger. Yeah, this old one. That yeah. one is a first girl, right? Mm. This one is a fifth. This one is what? Oh, what which girl? First, ah, second, this, third? There's no classification in oh. Pomerol. Oh, Pomerol no classification. No classification. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, you have a classification mm. in Santa Minion. Mm. You have the 1855 in the Medoc mm. and Sauterne. Yeah. Uh, you have a classification in Grave, mm. which is where you are tomorrow, except Aubryon is also in the 1855 classification. Oh. It's the first one. Saint Emilion. Oh, yeah. No. Aubryon. Aubryon. Oh. Where you're going tomorrow? Yeah. You said. Pesac Yeah, it's Pesac Grave. Yeah. Classification. Oh. Um, and uh, so Aubryon is also in the 1855 oh. classification. It's the first growth. First growth. But uh, no classification in Pomar. Oh. Okay. So first we're gonna start hmm. with this one. It's a Ronan. It is Ronan by Kine. So Ronan named after the owner. Ronan Abad. Yeah. And in yeah. 2009, he. Why are you wrong? Sorry? Yeah. Smells very fruity. Ah, yeah, very fruity, yeah. Well, it's 100%, well, it's not actually 100% Molo, it's 95% Molo and 5% Cabernet. Yeah. A little bit of Cabernet Franc, a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, but this is what we call in French a vin de Nigos. Okay. We don't actually grow the grapes for this wine. Mm. We buy wine from other producers to produce this wine. Mm. Okay. Ini dia beli bukan dia enggak. Dia apa? Grape-nya bukan dari sini, bukan dari ladang dia. Dia beli. Mm. So you buy wine from other other wines. Absolutely. Yeah. Because in we in Pomerol or somewhere? No, not in Pomerol. In the Entre deux Mers. You know the Entre de Mer? Mm. You know in the. Yeah, in the Bordeaux. In Bordeaux, you have two rivers. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Huh? Garonne and uh, Dordogne. Oh, so yesterday you were in. On the left the bank. Yeah. Okay, Medoc. you were here. Today you are here. Left, right bank, right yeah. Back. Okay. And here in the middle yeah. is what we call the Entre de Mer. Entre de Mer. Entre de Mer, oh. which means between. Uh. Between the two seas. Okay? If you translate it literally, yeah. it means between the two seas, yeah. but it's actually between the two rivers. Yeah, the antara okay. dua river. Itu ada entro de mer. Yeah, entro de mer. Entro de mer. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I never heard about that. Sorry. <laughs> well, now you know. Now I know. So, yeah, so a lot of this wine comes from the. That is the why some of them are. Written Prodo. Yeah, so because we come from different appellations, there's mm. Entre de Mer, uh, Castillon Côte de Bordeaux, mm. uh, Bordeaux. Mm. We chose Bordeaux. Yeah. Bordeaux, in that case, is the common denominator. Okay? Mm. When you have different appellations. Mm. I never, well, never seen this before. You never seen this? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's an easy drinking, easy going wine. Mm. Yeah. It's what you would call a Netflix wine, you know, to bring <laughs> whilst you're watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you. It's a wine for. Sweet for socialize. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's for a party, it's for a, mm. a barbecue. Mm. But it, you see, it also has good structure, it has good body. So What's the is, color? It's a ruby? Yeah, ruby. I think. 
Mm -hmm. 2018, mm. so that was a warm year, mm. so it's um, quite high in alcohol, mm. about 14%, but it has good acidity, so it's still very, yeah. very yeah. clean yeah. and crisp. Yeah. <laughs> he used to see the pivino. <laughs> yeah. To, to yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, we're going to taste another one and then we will taste Chateau Pinot. This one is a second or third line? Third line, right? Third line is in the range. Yeah, it's entry level, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. There is a first line, second line, third well, line. So this is the Chateau Cliné is the top one. Yeah. Then we have Fleur de Cliné, ah. which is our second wine, but very, very small quantities. Fleur Cliné. Yeah. Second line. Second line, but very small quantities. Mm. Then we have Bicliné, which is the one that we're going to taste now. Mm. So if you like, you can. Empty your glass into the... Okay. Okay, this is the second line. This is By another cleaner. This is another Pomerol that we make. It's not the second wine. It's, it's another wine that we produce. Another wine. Yeah. By cleaner. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Another wine. <laughs> yeah. So this is 95% um, Merlot and 5% Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Franc, because we also, some of the grapes are from Cliné and the rest we buy from our neighbours. We buy wine from our neighbours in Pomerol. So it is a Pomerol. Ne. Ada beberapa di di dia tanam ada beberapa dia beli. Hmm. Tapi semuanya di Pomero by Cleanet. Hmm. So it does have a little um, barrel aging, hmm. uh, but barrels second fill barrels. So barrels are the very oh. old ones. Yeah, ini for about twelve months. Barrelnya udah dipakai yang yang lama, yang lama punya the old one. Terus di Put here for the twelve month. Yeah. Mm. So oh. second line. Right? Yeah. The second line. Okay, I'll be like the second line. Yeah. So it's, it's not. It's not third the, line. It's, it's not the third line. It's not the top line. Mm. It's not the second line. It's another Pomerol that we produce mm. in our brand, in our range. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's spicy. Mm. Yeah. It has uh, Frank. What yeah, is it? Frank. Cabernet Frank. Five percent Cabernet. Does it have a good score? Yeah. 2.8? 3 point eight. But that one. 4.6. That one. The Chateau Cliné? Yeah, yeah, Chateau Cliné. Yeah. This one still low. <laughs> yeah, but, Sorry. But it costs 27 euros. 27? 27 euros. Mm. And this one, 11 euros. It's a blast. Ini dua dua sembilan dua tujuh. Ini sebelas dolar. Oh. Euro. That's cheap. <laughs> This one. Good value for money. Yeah. And also <laughs> that one good for for money. Yeah, good absolutely. Value. Yeah. Oh. So if you like, you can empty your yeah. glass again. Okay. Uh, let me drink. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's too spicy. This one. Ini baru aku. Kalau prefer. Yeah, this one, Chateau Clinet. Chateau Clinet 2016. Oh, the best vintage 2016. <laughs> Very good vintage, yeah. yeah. But this one, you export much, many, many bottles. Yes. So that's, I can make you anywhere. You can find it? Yeah, I can yeah. find it. Yeah. Mm, like, uh, yeah I used to buy in Singapore. Okay. Yeah, and they all, always have it. Yeah. This one, yeah. Chateau Clinet. <laughs> 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah. One of my favorite vintages in recent years. And will be 2022. Yeah. The better one. 22 yeah. is amazing. But 20 is also fabulous. Mm. 19 as well. Mm. Uh, in recent years, we've made some very, very good vintages. Okay. So, um, this is 90% Merlot and 10%. Cabernet Sauvignon. 90% Merlot, 10% Cabernet Franc. 
No, Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Yeah. That's why you do. Do you remember I told you we're slightly different? Yeah. We're not like the other estates because we have quite a high percentage of Cabernet Sauvignon. I haven't tried yet. I think I need to need some water first. Oh yeah, let me, yeah. Let me serve you. Yeah, so this was a year where there was a lot of concentration. It's a powerful vintage. Um, it was quite a dry year. The weather was very dry, quite hot. Uh, and the conditions were absolutely perfect during flowering. So we got a lot of grapes, but very, very small and, and concentrated. It's orange, this one. <laughs> color should be very nice you only brought it so this how is how much how much hmm? good question i think it's about 190 euros maybe <laughs> 190 what do, what do they say on do they give you price now mm. it depends it depends now it's it's cheaper than 190. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. said 120. 20? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it depends where you are. Mm. And that's a little bit, okay? It is a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little this is also spicy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, the Malo of the right bank is um, has a lot of character. It's very elegant, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. And then it's the Cabernet as well. It brings you the licorice, uh, minty freshness as well. Yeah. To the wine. That's what gives it a lot of its elegance. Yeah, it is, it is strong, but it is fruity as mm. well. Yeah. Yeah, well, 90% Merlot, that's, uh, that's mm. the beauty of Clinet and Pomerol in general. These are wines that have character, good structure, but they're still very round and fruity, mm. very lush. Mm. Ah. Burger, and then, uh, Clinet, so where is Petrus? La Fleur. That's Petrus. Where's Petrus? It's hiding. Mm. I think next to Leveler, right? Yeah, so Next that's what I here. said. You see, you have Borga, and for me, it's round about here somewhere. Uh -huh. It was. I can't see it. It's near Gaza. Oh, well, there, yeah. Oh, yeah this <laughs> is the big one, Petrus. <laughs> it's so big, you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I said. You see, Borga is here, Cline is here. Hmm. So it's kind of triangle. Huh? Where's the triangle? There, from Cline. Cline. Then. And then Borga. Borga. Oh, so see, yeah. Like a yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Jadi, Klinet, mm. Borgrad, nih, sama Petrus, mm. segitiga emas mm. di sini katanya. So, It's the best in, yeah. in Pet Pomero, right? Absolutely. Yang bagus itu. So, um, yeah, so Pomal is just a tiny, tiny little... <laughs> <laughs> little dot. You can't even see yeah. Pomerol, it's too small. Yeah. The reason why they didn't uh, create an appellation for... Uh, why they didn't add us into saint emilion or add us into La Longue de Pomerol mm -hmm. is because Pomerol is um, completely different. Mm. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a very, very rich mm. clay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Different Chim kind of clay. Yeah, Saint Emilion, you have a lot of limestone. Mm. Um, La Lande is clay, but with, with more sand. Mm. And Pomerol is also higher up. Mm. Okay, we're on a plateau. Yeah. It's just a bit higher. Yeah. Uh, and it's very, very dense clay. So that's why they created a, a single appellation and didn't include us in Saint Emilion mm. or in. Uh, because we're different. Okay. <laughs> Back to 1785. Mm. Okay. Very, very old map. So here you have Pomerol. You see two M's. Pomerol with two M's. Whereas today it's one M. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because this is an old map. And Pomerol, the name, 
comes from pomus, which meant in Latin uh, uh, a, a fruit with seeds. Mm. Pomerol okay. with double M. Yeah. Mm. Fruit with seeds. Yeah, for in the Latin, pomus. Pomus. Which gave the word pom in French, which means apple. Mm. Okay. And uh, so here you have all the little um, lieux dit, like. Um, what can I tell you? Oh, Trop no. chaud here, pignon, mm. um, si me... la fleur, gazin, chantecaille, la conseillante. These are all lieux dits, which means place names. Okay? Mm. Names, places that, are, that have a name. And here you can't actually, it's not easy to see, here is cliné. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You have cliné, feti, pignon. So this is all the area where we have a lot of vines. And you see, in 1785, yeah. this was already under vine. Yeah. Here. Because if you look here, what? Cheval Blanc, huh. no vines huh. in 1785. Yeah. Cheval Blanc is more recent. Yeah. 